everybody it's your man mike tech king on the budget back again with another video and uh today what i got going on for you guys is just quick 24 48 hour um last few days been using this phone and just wanted to talk about it for a few minutes just tell you guys a few of my initial impressions initial thoughts so first things first we're going to start with the uh in display fingerprint scanner now I will say that I like the idea that you can set more than one um, thumbprint to the in-display fingerprint scanner. That is one thing that I wish I was able to do on my OnePlus 6T. You know, you're kind of stuck with the one fingerprints, uh, fingerprint that you put in. So, and it's not always as quick as Samsung's is. Now, Samsung's is not the quickest in the world, but it is fairly quick for the most part. So I'm gonna give you guys a demonstration. Now, you don't have to have the screen on. You don't have to worry about anything. You can see my ceiling fan in the background, but uh, I'm gonna put, now you can see I was a little high. That's one thing I don't like is that there is no like clear indication of it when the screen is off. But if you get it right, you can unlock the screen without even having to turn it on. Just, just like, just like old and just, just like the old fingerprint scanners on the front of the device. Now I do enjoy this. I really do like this, and it does make things a little bit simpler and easier for me to just pick my phone out of my pocket and just just go about my business now you see there was a miss there now i did register this finger twice i did it once like this and then i did it once like this so it has you know kind of varying angles for the camera but or for the um for the scanner but it did work out pretty good for me in my experience now there's been a lot of controversy over these right here which are the uh dual hole punch cameras at the top there's been a lot of controversy over the face the face id and you know, i'm just gonna go ahead and say it it's not secure and it's not you know it says it in the settings it says that it's not the most secure thing so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna shout out the ultra tech uh got a new video just came out notification squad so i'm gonna hit the settings here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to biometrics and security and we're gonna go to face recognition so i'm gonna put my password in put my pin number in off the screen now you can see right here in the settings where it says Faster recognition, improved speed, or reduces security. A possible video or image being incorrectly recognized as your face. Now you can see that clear as day. So Samsung puts it out there to let you know that hey, this isn't this isn't the most secure thing in the world to do. So you do it if you want to. Me personally, I don't think it's that big of a deal that I feel like I can't I I can't trust the phone to do it. And personally, I keep nothing in my phone that is going to be you know detrimental if anybody finds it so i keep it moving but just to show you guys what the face id looks like you can kind of see me behind the camera here a little bit and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to just going to raise it and you can see simple as day i wasn't even looking at it i was looking at the looking at the camera looking at the phone so we'll do it one more time you can kind of see the animation up there clear as day sometimes you got to bring it a little bit closer but for the most part it's not that you know it's not that bad shout out to viper vibe live sony a6 stream live test i'll check that out here in a little bit and uh so that's pretty much it when it comes to the, the fingerprint scanner and when it comes to the uh hole punch display now i do want to say that i like it a lot better than this one um you know one plus i think they missed an opportunity to put an ultrasonic in display fingerprint scanner in their devices because one thing that i dislike about the one plus is you can kind of see on camera i'll see if i can illustrate it is how you saw how the the display got brighter when I did it. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise the phone, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it on, and I'm gonna kind of just like raise the phone up so it can kind of shimmy a little bit. That's one thing about OnePlus, and you got to do a double tech to wait. Uh, all right, so check this out. You see how you can see how it gets how bright it gets. I'm not really too much of a fan of that when it comes to unlocking my phone in the middle of the night. Now, if you want this wallpaper, I will link it below in the description. Uh, this is my favorite wallpaper for this phone right now, just because it reminds me of where I come from. Before I started using this phone, I did have a 10s Max. So uh, I'm gonna go through just a little bit of the animations of the device. Now I don't know why that came up. That I uh, didn't mean to tap that, but uh, I do like the fact that Samsung seems to have gotten one ui uh figured out pretty well i do like how easy it is to use uh i have still in the process of setting up my home screen i have a completely separate video on that soon but i want to bring up a couple of apps because i do want to talk about some of my complaints with one ui so what i'll do is i will bring up the i'll bring up words with friends and then i'll bring up uh my xbox app uh let's see i'll bring up the zedge app and we'll bring up the play store so now here's one of the things that i dislike about one ui they took this i guess from um the emui for the mate 20 and the xiaomi series phones 
um, uh, branded phones. And when you use a gesture and you go to your um, multitask, I don't like how, let's say I switch over to Zedge now, right? But I want to go to Words with Friends. It instinctively automatically takes me back to the last one. I don't really care for that. You know, I, I, it might seem petty, first world problems, but I don't really care for it. It's, it's a little aggravating to me. So, you know, that's just something real quick I just wanted to point out. Um, another thing that I don't like is I have not been able to figure out how to do, um, I have not been able to figure out how to do um, multi apps. Like, um, uh, gosh, I'm losing it at the moment trying to talk. But um, being able to do simultaneous apps, I have kind of lost how to do that. You know, I don't know how to do that anymore from from this, this from this menu. Uh, all I get is the close all, and that's it. I don't get any kind of any kind of way to say I want to do YouTube on the bottom and my Google Maps on the top like I normally do when I'm driving. So that's just a couple of gripes that I have so far with One UI as I continue to use it. But I do want to talk about the cameras for a second. Now I'm going to pull up a couple of pictures here. All right, so I pulled up a couple of pictures here and. What I have here is I have a few examples of the uh, different lenses that you get with the device. So this was today, uh, was at the port here in Jacksonville, and this was the wide angle camera. So as you can see, uh, you'll notice that mirror and notice that 45 right there. So you'll see that I did not move at all. So that was the wide angle. That was the standard wide angle. And that was the telephoto zoom. Now, I really like how Samsung kind of got the colors a little bit on here now of course on the screen here it's going to look a little different than it does on my camera but i will say that this is probably one of the better cameras i've used in a while um not sure if i'd say it's better than the iphone or the pixel at the moment but i do want to continue doing some testing with it i'm going to record a video with it to see how i like it um here's another example of some video or some pictures that i took so this is the wide angle i'm sorry this is the uh standard angle standard wide angle you know uh this is the super wide angle and okay guys forgive me for this i'm up here thinking that i took a wide angle shot this is the telephoto this is the wide angle and this is the super wide angle and notice that all of these are from the same position now you can kind of see a little bit in the picture that there is somewhat of a fisheye with the wide angle so you know it's not nothing that i would say is an issue but um, it just kind of, you know, throws me off a little bit. Now, this was not a wide angle shot. Uh, shout out to Dan, got unloaded at Ace Hardware today. Uh, stuff that I unloaded. And this was a standard wide angle shot. And then this was the super wide angle. So, uh, you get a lot more in the pit. I mean, you can't even tell, you know, what, what, what this is that's being unloaded until you do that. And you just get so much more in the shot when you use that wide angle. So, I will say that that is something I really like so far. But to summarize, this is a very good phone you know so far it's a good phone i'm glad i did decide to take a chance on it and get my hands on one like i said we did do the at&t buy one get one so uh my wife is rocking the pearl the pearl ceramic white this is an eye blazing case that she got from amazon uh ladies that watch the video if you got s10 plus and you're interested i'll link it below in the description and my case is the speaking case this is the neo hybrid and gunmetal I uh, definitely like this case. I like the like the rib feel of the back, and I like how it feels when I'm holding it. it gives the phone a nice, solid grip. But um, just to summarize, I really do think this is going to be a, a good phone. I'm kind of glad that I decided to pick it up. And will it take down my OnePlus 6T, which is my current favorite Android phone? Only time will tell. I'll be bringing you guys some more videos. But in the meantime, hit me up in the comments and let me know what you guys think. Do you have a OnePlus 6T or an S10 or... You know, let me know where you guys are going with your Android phones this year. Are you excited for the P30 Pro? And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.